And I mean, I feel like this saved his life. Yeah, oh, I do too. Absolutely. <laughs> When Prank was two and a half, his abdomen filled with fluid and he got aspiration pneumonia, all because he developed a condition called PLE where he couldn't absorb his proteins. And what little proteins he did absorb, his kidneys um, would just let go of and he would urinate them out. So he had both PLE and PLN. Both are sequela of kind of um, the body rejecting proteins. And there is no cure for this in Western medicine at all. These dogs end up falling through the cracks and usually passing. Um, but this dog ended up, we saved him using only holistic medicine. So his albumin got down to 1.1, which means that all this fluid was pocketing in his different internal organs. So he had um, fluid on the abdomen, he had fluid in the pleural space, and then he'd have to go to the regular vet and get that drained off. And it's all, and he's a young dog, so it's all due to the fact that he is not assimilating the proteins correctly. His whole body has rejected proteins. It's a really big problem when you're a dog. So these GI malabsorption issues are very complicated from a from any medical perspective, but from a holistic perspective, what we're doing is trying to figure out what the triggers are. So what are the triggers into this malabsorption issue? If you just throw a lot of medications at this dog, it's not necessarily curative for him. Um, and so what we did in holistic medicine was just pare down his initial diet so he really wasn't on anything except for the food. And then I just did acupuncture once a week. So that was really key. I'm from the internal medicine specialist, and instead, I'm taking them off all those medicines and putting them on herbal medicines. And also, we're finding out what um, are the specific triggers that he is having problems with. So he's having a problem absorbing. He's basically... So we're not sure of the original cause of these protein allergies, you know. Our, is it because our factory farming has made our food so unsafe and so full of antibiotics and steroids that it's natural to react to it? Or <clears throat> it doesn't start with vaccinations that are grown on chicken and egg tissue. Um, and then does that perpetuate it through the generations? But what we can say is that um, this is like an epidemic. A lot of dogs are reacting to proteins and then um, just, this is this is the end stage kind of result of this. Um, but what we do in holistic medicine is that we change the protein. This is often misunderstood and mis, mis sort of <laughs> done, I guess. The proteins need to stay um, single and then it's a bait and switch for the immune system. So I try to explain it in this slide. And um, so uh, his person was really frustrated and came to me to find out what she should do. So she's doing a homemade diet. She's doing a number of different herbal therapies aimed at both helping at the bone marrow level and also helping at the kidney level and trying to basically right his immune system. So, so this is his specific diet. This is the diet that he gets today. And it's just three cups of meat and we're not doing raw meat, but we could be. Um, and there's advantages and disadvantages to that. I'm going to do a separate video on raw versus cooked. Um, but the basic quick version is that amino acids are more viable in raw food. And the problem with kibble and commercial food is that there's synthesized amino acids that um, can make the dog even more sick. So it's really hard to avoid them without just using a real food like a meat source. This, by the way, is an epidemic. Most dogs don't have PLE, but they have some type of immune-mediated issue protein, and... where we needed to work on the proteins. And so the way we're working on the proteins is through muscle testing and acupuncture to basically ask his body not to react to proteins anymore. And what we did was through muscle testing, we found out he had a problem with the whole... Leucine family of amino acids. Now we don't know. I don't know what his most recent one was. Right. I mean, we can assume with a total protein of 6.2 that it's probably in the 3 range. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of an assumption. But um, yeah, it's great. It's great news. Right. Do you have anything you want to tell people about treating PLE and pre-LM? Um, 
it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. What's the hardest part? Now we only do one. We've only we're only doing less visits. We're not seeing right. We're doing less visits, so yeah. you know, obviously driving to Bellingham. <laughs> um, but you know, I I have to just be careful with what he eats, and I spend a lot of time and some money on grinding up fresh veggies so that he has. He gets the sing, he's, he, we've done the single protein rotation. Right, single up protein. Until he just was recently. on pheasant, and now he's transitioned. Tomorrow is his first day of complete tra completely transitioning to lamb. Um, and I mean, I feel like this saved his life. Yeah. Oh, I do too. Absolutely. And so, so it's, a, it's, it's a, so he now has more proteins than he can that he can have. Mm -hmm. Turkey, lamb, bison. He was on deer and elk. Um, he's done pheasant and right. he's very good is, on emu, but that I can only get once a year, really. Um, yep, so. and um, basically identifying the amino acids, identifying the proteins that he can eat, um, right. making sure he has no food triggers, treating it like an autoimmune disease, and it's, it's such a weird concept that they don't absorb their proteins, right? right. I mean. Right. But just that he's absorbing this much to right. be in the more normal range is, is a great sign. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's the herbs, there's the treatments, I and then there's the food. Quite, quite a bit of herbs mm -hmm. um, and some, you know, broken open capsules of like uh, magnesium, calcium, mm -hmm. L-methionine. I think it's uh, Charles. What's it called? Tar taurine. Taurine. Mm -hmm. That's it. He's getting amino acids yep. added to his added diet. diet. Yeah. He gets uh, a blood boost herb and a digestive aid herb and kidney herb. And I guess the only thing that's a little bit odd with him is he got the liver elevations. Uh, right. And so, so he's, he we had to start working on his liver. He had to work on his liver, but he's not on liver herbs anymore. Right. Um, and it seems to be fine. Um, Sounds good. He gets the full bucket. Full bucket GI support. Yep. He's doing a probiotic from them. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, good. That's all I really wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs>